it is hot out there, but don't worry, I'm keeping very hydrated. I tell you, homemade lemonade with mint. Most refreshing drink on a very hot day. <clears throat> so, people often ask, do I get lonely living alone off grid? I don't need much time to think about the answer because the short answer is no. The long answer is definitely not. <laughs> I enjoy my own company. Um, I'm always busy doing something so I don't get bored. And uh, as long as I have a way to be creating something, I'm okay. If you take away my ability to create something, I think I'll get depressed. So no, I'm not lonely at all. What I do miss, though, is the only thing I miss about being part of a couple is that there are some jobs that need two people. <laughs> and like moving pigs now from one pen to the other, I can do it by myself if the other pen is empty. But when there's a pig in that pen, I need someone to guard that pig to make sure they don't come out the gate that has to be open while I heard the other pigs in. So um, that's when I miss not being part of a couple. <laughs> because when I watch everybody else, uh, uh, most of the other YouTubers doing homesteading, um, they are part of a couple and they can do things together. And if someone is having to knock a nail, the other one can be holding the plank in place, etc. I've got to try and manage that by myself. And that's okay. And I am truly blessed in that I often have friends popping around who lend a hand or volunteers coming. Um, just thinking of the anonymous plumber, Louise, uh, Kim, Rickard, I had Walter. I mean, I've had the most amazing volunteers here. And I'm truly blessed uh, to, to have them. And that's when I usually try and get the two-person jobs done. But, uh, oh, and Rachel. I can't forget Rachel. Um, so, yeah, the... the um, the two-person jobs I try and get done when the, I have a volunteer year or a friend is visiting and I'll say, oh, I can give you a cup of tea or a cup of coffee. Do you think you could lend a hand with this? But um, that's the only time I miss not being part of a couple. So now that the bottom fields are electrified, I'm going to move those ones that escaped out of it. Um back across into that pen and uh, just to make it easier for me I haven't fed them yet but I'll be putting up this electric fence well it's not electrified but I use the mallet to put the posts in just to create a walkway so they don't go wandering up the top that they will then go straight down to over there so it's all set up. This electric fence has actually been invaluable, not as an electric fence, but just as a way to put up like a very temporary barricade when I am moving pigs so that I can move them in the direction I'm wanting them to go. Because I don't want them, otherwise they can easily just hit up that road. So they, I'm wanting to confine them to this area so they can get into that pen. So that's the plan. So uh, just going to feed the sheep and the babies, uh, all the piglets. We we're here for another week. Um, this worked really well. They are all in the other pen. Um, 
it's only jelly bean on this side and that gives me the opportunity now to clean those um, two maternity wards and prepare them for litters that will be coming in the next month. So Andrew is here today and he's helping clear some of the brambles um, just to make a nice and easier path along here because I'm wanting to actually put a gate up over there as well. So if anybody gets out on that side, they can't get onto this side. But I couldn't put a gate up because of all the brambles, but now I can do that. And the sheep are out grazing, as you can see. Are you guys following me around the farm? Hmm? Guess who's assisting me with checking fence perimeter? Sheep grazing in the olive grove. I have to say, while all the broom is a pain, it is beautiful when it is flowering. So I have my handy measuring tool. I'm going to be walking down this road to get the length of uh, how long the fence is going to be so that I can eventually get the whole property fenced in. Um, I've tried to adjust this to make the handle longer, but I haven't been able to. I've followed I've done the twist and whatever, and I haven't managed to make it longer, so I'm going to have to bend quite a bit doing this, I think. Okay, doesn't matter. It's better than trying to you do it with a tape measure. So I'm now at the entrance to the farm. You can see there's the shark rock, my sign behind the over, overgrown area over there. Um, and so from where that other fence ended to here, it's 168, 168 meters. Let's call it 170. Courtesy of my travels, you do pick up little <laughs> notebooks. So um, I'm just going to write the measurements down because there's no guarantee I'll remember them because I'm going to be taking quite a few. And then, yeah, so I'm going to reset this um, measuring wheel and uh, onto zero. And then, I mean, I could just keep it on and then have the total measurement, but I actually want to find out what um, each section is because it's very easy just to add them together. So with all the boulders in this end section over here, I'm not sure if uh, the fence will go inside these boulders or if it's possible to even do them outside the boulders. I don't know. But I think it's going to be better to get extra fencing rather than too little fencing because extra fencing can always be used anywhere on the farm, really. But there's my shark rock. So to reset this, there is a handy lever over there, which should, if I touch it, if I just get this to balance. Right, back to zeros. So the access road to this point is 59 meters. Right, so I've just done the road that comes up from the state road up to this point, up to this rock. I'm going to put on zero and then the next sec section I'm just going to call farm road 
the farm road side. So back to this top pen and oh, along the farm road, it's now 92. 92 right yeah so this this road over here is a bit shorter than the other road because it's got a few bends so i thought that doesn't matter because as i said before it's better to have too much than too little so um and I mean, I have other pens that I'm wanting to construct as well. So even though it shows it on the maps uh, as a perfect straight line, the border of the property is not actually a perfect straight line because the state road is the, the border and the state road has some bends and twists in it. So that's what the discrepancy is with the one side versus the other side, which is why I wanted to measure them separately because I knew that the border, it's a bit bendy and twisty on that side. But while I'm up here, I'm going to go and check the bees, see how they're doing. And um, if there's anybody out there who knows how to put a honey super on for me, that will be awesome. I honestly can't think of a more beautiful place to be than Quinta de Vela Pedra. This time of year, it is absolutely stunning. The beehive is a literal hive of activity. I'm not going to go closer because I'm wearing a dark colored shirt and the bees don't like dark colors. But very, very active beehive. So I really need that honey super to go on if I'm wanting to harvest honey. And as I have an allergy to bees, as I discovered the hard way, um, I'm not going to try and put that on myself. My next job is to weed these um, raised garden beds out here because last year they produced lots and lots of melons so I'm hoping it's going to do the same thing again this year so I am going to weed and then I'll be putting in um, more soil and compost as well so just weed today it's job weeding so I have my gloves ready my water to drink to keep hydrated. uncovered the big ant nest here so now they are all crawling on me and biting me but yeah lots of ants over here bit of a wind today as you can see but it is providing a bit of shade i am um, throwing all the weeds i'm pulling out over here and they are enjoying they're not that wild about the dried grass cuttings but this they feel like they are out grazing and they are really enjoying this. Sweetie Pie, I think, oops, I think her birth is imminent. She's quite swollen at the back and uh, yes, what do you say, Blueberry? Your birth imminent too? I think you still got a couple of weeks. Always good when you're weeding and have an accidental find. So I've got some potatoes 
there might be some more in that obviously i won't give the potatoes or the potato plants if that i do find um to the pigs because it's part of the nightshade family so it's poisonous but yeah cleared that one cleared this one need to pick up my potatoes and just finish this last bit over here so the weeding of these three raised garden beds is done and uh, as an unexpected bonus i managed to fill this bag with little new potatoes that i didn't even know i had growing so the bag that the shade cloths come in is already proving to be useful and these fruit, fruit trees are doing sensationally over here so i've had one two three four five trees that are planted here they're all doing very very well um i'll be watering them from that ibc tank up there so very happy with my fruit trees i've got some fruit trees in another little orchard and i've got some in the bottom orchard and they i think they're all some of them are sticks and there are some that are still going strong there you go release the sheep i'm gonna get this house ready for sweetie pie this is just blueberry inspecting it but i'm gonna first put down a layer of straw no leave the knife leave the knife i'm going to first put down a layer of straw and then i'm not a layer of straw a layer of sawdust what are you doing here sweetie pie and then straw on top of it just to sort of level it out i see they've got the treat ball in there hey what are you doing you always have curious pigs. Hey, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Don't throw that sawdust out. But look at her sweetie pie. Her belly's almost dragging on the ground now. It's nearly on the ground. So I've got these four on this side in the meantime. So we got toffee, we got cinnamon bun, blueberry, and cupcake. And I've moved these four all over here so that Sweetie Pie is now by herself because um, I don't want the others to be with her when she's having her babies. When the babies are like a week old, you can put them together, but I like to keep them separate for the first week, at least. Um, so the plan is, is that Cupcake, hopefully, will go back into the other, I don't know if I want to put in the other pen because I don't want her to get pregnant. So she'll probably just be a companion pig until she's a bit older. Um, Toffee and uh, cinnamon bun are going to go across. Cinnamon bun will have her own pen over there. And then I'll have uh, toffee gingerbread is there as well. And cupcake who is, what are you doing with my pants? And my toes? Oh my goodness. You wanting attention? She's wanting to be scratched. So because she's wanting to be scratched, she knows how she can get attention. Don't you, Cupcake? Yeah. I think she's in season actually at the moment. She's looking a little bit swollen at the back. But, um, so she's not going anywhere near boys. No boys for Cupcake. Yeah. So Sweetie Pie will be first, Blueberry next, and um, 
cinnamon bun third so they will all have their own pens toffee and miss naughty over here cupcake you just want attention all the time they will be going to across the road yes what's it hmm toffee 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 so I moved Sweetie Pie into the other pen because it is smaller and this is going to have four pigs for a couple of days because um, for this move I will need to have a second person because I'm going to have to make sure gingerbread doesn't run out while I've got the gate open to let the others in. So... Um, and then Blueberry will be by herself. Cinnamon Bun will be by herself. And then the other three together. Um, yeah, Toffee's still got a while to go. About another month at least. Sweetie Bar is busy eating the grass and weeds that the others didn't eat. So, yeah. So straw in Sweetie Pie's house. She will redecorate, I'm sure. They usually it doesn't help if you spread it out because they redecorate and then they sometimes throw a whole lot out. You're gonna decorate yourself? You're gonna do some interior design. So I've got more posts which have to be offloaded and lots of soil <sighs> composting stuff. But seriously, look at the weather. It's way too hot. So um, tomorrow morning, first thing, I'll come and offload this. I'm not doing this in this heat. So these are sort of like the tough rubberized plastic, I suppose you can call it. Um, that's all I could find that I could use for the pigs. Um, hopefully they'll be able to get their heads in. I think they'll, they'll, they'll definitely they get their heads in the bucket so they can get their heads in there. Um, and that's for when I'm going to be putting uh, wet food. I'll be putting in those. I haven't been able to find anything else suitable. I have been looking, believe you me. So, oh, feeding time. And I'm getting all the feed together. And the next thing, the four piglets that are all going over the weekend come running towards me. So somehow or other they've broken out of the chicken coop. I mean, they've done well. They've only got like about another four more days to go inside there. So um, it's been a bit of a mission, but Three of them I got in really easy. I just opened the gate to the big ones. I'm hoping they stay in that pen because um, if they go to the back part, it's electrified. Um, but they can, uh, they might still be able to fit through sheep feet. I don't know. We'll see. It's, I'm not putting them back in the chicken pen and I'm not putting them um, with uh, in the maternity ward so i've just put them in the big pen because then they can run around and um eat grass and hopefully stay in there but the one the one little male oh my goodness he was too scared to go in with the big ones and it was like i had to do a little <sighs> hansel and gretel thing with a little trail of uh, apple pieces for him to follow to get in what a mission if i had another person they would have had him from behind <laughs> so i would have opened the gate made sure the other pigs don't come out and then the other person could have been behind and herded him so yeah that's the advantage of being a couple you have a second pig herder so there's some strimming noises going on. The neighbors are busy strimming now. But um, that's all there is for today's video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Give the video a like, uh, comment below, and 
In the meantime, stay sane, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next video.